Group 3's Animal Book by Nisha, Catherine, Julia, Lydia, Ben, Callie, Miss Madison, and Miss Julia. This book was written by Nisha, Catherine, Lydia, Julia, Ben, Miss Julia, and Miss Madison. We were inspired to make this book by knowing a lot about sea creatures and other animals. We hope you guys learn as much as we did about animals. We are super excited about you reading our fun, educational book. Have fun! Index Page 2 Introduction Page 3 Index Page 4 Writing Strategies Page 5 Brainstorming Ideas Page 6 Sea Turtle Page 7 Koala Page 8 Shark Page 9 Holland Lop Bunny by Lydia, Ben, and Julia Page 10 Red Panda by Catherine Page 11 Caterpillars by Nisha Page 12 Sloth by Lydia, Ben, and Julia Page 13 Giraffe by Callie Page 14 Sun Bears by Lydia, Ben, and Julia Page 15 Glossary Page 16 Conclusion Writing Strategies Ways we started writing and made our writing stronger Creating a description card for the animal Adding strong verbs Adding supporting details Watching an educational video to learn more Creating a brainstorming list of facts Thinking about your experience Adding picture support are brainstorming to create this book. Sea Turtle When I first hatched I used my flippers to race towards the water because I was trying to escape predators. My flippers are great for helping me glide through the salty sea water. Me hard shell protects me from predators like sharks and humans. My shell grows on my body as I grow. I have a pattern color on my head, flippers, and shell. My pattern color is different than any other turtle. I am clever, wise, and very calm in the water because I glide with the current. I am clever enough to lay my eggs in a specific place in the sand to protect them from predators like seagulls and humans. I lay a lot of eggs under the sand to protect my babies from being seen. I love to explore the ocean and swim in the wide open sea. My flippers help me swim gracefully through the water. I see a lot of animals when I am swimming like whales, sharks, dolphins, lobster, and clownfish. My body was made so that I do not have to cover my nose when I swim and I can't put my head in my shell. Koala I have an arched back so I can sleep in the trees during the day and night time. I sleep 90% of the day and 10% of the day I spend eating. I have a round head and fluffy ears. My nose looks like a black ball of tape. I have six opposable thumbs to help me climb and grip trees. Mom koala bears keep their babies in a pouch to keep them safe from predators. Did you know baby koala bears are called joeys? I get 22 hours of sleep a day so I can save my energy. I am a herbivore because I eat eucalyptus leaves. I eat eucalyptus leaves but other animals cannot eat them because they are poisonous to them. I live in eastern Australia in the forest. I love to sleep and climb trees. I am a little different than other animals because I can eat leaves that others cannot eat. When I was a baby koala, I stayed in my mother's pouch to keep me safe from predators like large owls, dog attacks, cars, and dingoes. I love being a koala. Shark Only when sharks are hungry they will hunt, 
but when they are not hungry, they are peaceful around fish. Sharks have a really good sense of smell. They can smell a single drop of blood from a mile away. Don't be scared, sharks do not like eating humans, they only bite them because they are scared. Sharks like to travel alone but if they smell blood, the sharks might come together on accident looking for food. Sharks may even attack each other for their prey. Some sharks like to live around their prey so it is easy to attack them, just like hammerhead sharks. They use things like coral reefs to hide from their prey. Sharks eat any kind of fish. Pilot fish are the only type of fish that sharks do not eat because these fish help sharks clean their teeth. They also eat the leftover food from the shark's mouth. Hammerhead sharks, great white sharks, tiger shark, sand shark, whale shark, and megalodon sharks are all different kinds of sharks as far as no. All sharks have gills that help them breathe and fins and tails that help them swim. You cannot get away from their teeth. Many sharks have two rows of sharp, massive, destructible teeth that they use for catching prey and even their own kind. Holland Lop Bunny By Julia, Lydia, and Ben I have a large hutch and I need four hours of exercise every day. I get bored very easily, but I love new toys to keep me occupied. Paper towel rolls stuffed with hay are my favorite thing to roll around. Blocks and balls are toys I also like to play with. My favorite thing to do is to nap and play in boxes. It is like a hideout for me. I also have a cage with lots of good food and hay. My favorite food to eat is spinach and banania. I can't use a water bottle to drink from so make sure to give me a water bowl. Did you know, I drink as much water as a dog? My ears lay down instead of sticking up like a fox. This is why I am called a lop. My fur is very thick, soft, and fluffy. I love my nose being scratched, my ears being massaged, and being groomed. Did you know, once a month I need my nails clipped? I have two big front teeth and my bottom teeth sometimes overlap. I am smaller than other rabbits, meaning I am miniature. Guess what? Boy rabbits are called bucks and girls are called does. Sometimes I may bite to protect myself or if I feel afraid. I feel afraid around animals like cats, dogs, foxes, coyotes, and hawks. If a predator does catch me, they put me on my back in a state of shock which makes me not able to feel anything. Did you know, sometimes I can be best friends with dogs and cats if I'm in the right situation? Some people say I have a little bit of an attitude, but I think they are just being mean. Caterpillars By Nisha Caterpillars are first put in a very sticky egg called a cocoon. They lay cocoons in many different places like desks, trees, or greenhouses. They stay in it for a few weeks until they hatch into a butterfly. Even humans can take care of the eggs. First, you would need a milkweed plant or a butterfly bush so the butterfly can leave the egg. Then, the caterpillar will hatch and you need to wash it to get it clean. After a while, you should put the plant in a bottle of water so the caterpillar has something to eat when it hatches. Then, the caterpillar will get really big before it gets into a cocoon. After it's in a cocoon, you must wait two months before it turns into a butterfly. Once it is a butterfly, it will take a few minutes until its wings are dry and ready to fly. Then it will go free. Red Panda By Catherine A red panda looks like fox. Instead of being brown, 
it is more red than a fox. It has white and red stripes on its tail. It is called a red panda because panda means bamboo eater. A red panda is very calm because it doesn't have that many predators. They stay in the trees and take care of their babies for a couple of months. When I was a baby I'd play with my sibling or my mom. Right now I love eating bamboo. When I was a baby I ate my mom's milk. Did you know we have our own species? I have a smiley face that looks like I am always smiling. I have long claws that help me climb trees and lock onto branches. My hair is very rough and is a home for many insects. Sometimes, my fur can turn greenish from the algae when I swim in the water. This green color helps me camouflage into my surroundings. I can't see very well so that is why I am slow. I like to swim in swampy places and hang upside down in the trees like a bat. When I am swimming, I am faster than usual. I am different than other animals because I only poop once a week. When I am pooping, I have to leave my tree which can be very dangerous because I have to watch out for predators like jaguars. Sloth What happened when the sloth ate a watch? It was very time consuming. Bye, Lydia, Ben, and Julia. Giraffe. Bye, Callie H. A feature on my body is I have a very long neck. I can grow up to be 14 feet tall if I am a female. If I am a male, I can grow up to be 18 feet tall. I am spotted and have little horns at the top of my head. I have round ears with a point at the end. I have fur all the way down my long neck. My baby is called a calf and is six feet tall when it is born. They grow an inch every day in its first week. My heart is two inches long. My very slimy tongue is also very purple. My life is very interesting. The fact is that I can spend 16 to 20 hours eating. My herbivore diet contains mostly leaves in a tree branch in which I eat and eat. I have to split my leg apart and I have to reach down my very long neck to have a drink. I only have 5 minutes off for sleep but it is better for me to have 5 to 30 minutes of sleep each day. My tongue is purple and very thick and slimy. This helps me when I am eating and chewing down because I can accidentally get twigs that prickly. I can't risk getting my neck or throat hurt. I have to have a very thick tongue to crunch up so I can swallow it peacefully. When I am living in the hot Africa heat and my very social hurts, sometimes if I am a male I use my neck to fight the other male for female. When I am standing up I do all of my things eat, sleep, and drink. My life is mostly standing. The scariest part of living in Africa is all of my predators like jaguars, cheetahs, lions, and leopards. But my biggest predator is the humans who are poachers. They hunt me for my skin and horn. The horn is made out of something very special that can go for big money. The sun bear Honey Bear Bye, Lydia, Ben, and Julia My big claws help me rip open trees to get to my food. My claws also help me to climb tall trees. I have a mark around my neck that looks like a necklace. How I got my name comes from this golden crescent ring around my neck that looks like a sun. My tongue is very long and helps me reach into tiny places and get honey from beehives. When I am little, if I see an animal I have never seen before, it may be a little frightening to me. To protect me when I am little, I stay with my mom for a couple months or years. I am very curious around new things like people, animals, or food. My curiosity gets the best of me. 
I build my nest high up in the trees to keep me safe from predators and people. Sometimes we have to hide in the trees from human beings who are trying to hunt us which can be scary. My nest is built from twigs, branches, and leaves. When I leave my nest, I have to explore my surroundings to find food. Sometimes, I follow bees to their beehives so I can get honey to eat by sticking my long tongue into the beehive to get honey. Glossary Destructible, destroying or tearing things down. Megalodon, a shark that lived long ago but now is extinct for unexplainable reasons. Unexplainable, not able to be explained or talked about. Educational, to do something that is fun but also has to do with homework or school. Opposable thumbs, thumbs can touch the other fingers. Predator, an animal that is looking for something to eat like another animal or its own kind. Herbivore, an animal that eats plants like a vegetarian. Prey, something a predator is trying to eat or animal that will be eaten by another animal. Crescent, a curved shape that resembles the moon in the waning and waxing stage. Inspiration, it teaches someone else to do the same thing as you but also something better. Eucalyptus leaves, a plant that can be found in Australia. It smells like honey and is the favorite food of koalas. Species, a animal that are alike another animal in a group. Thank you for reading our book. We hope you liked it. We were very excited to make a book for our readers out there. We are glad you were excited to read our book. We hope you use our facts as an inspiration to make your own book.